My name is Ellie Covan, and I'm the founder and artistic director of Dixon Place. The mission is the same as it ever was, and that's really simply to provide a safe space for artists of all kinds, particularly early career artists, to develop new work in, in all different genres. It's very important, I think, that uh, uh, artists have a, a place where they feel safe and nurtured. <laughs> She just saw the idea right away. All she said after hearing the idea and the project that we presented to her, she said, do it. But there's no place like this Dixon Place where you get the kind of support that Ellie gives you and the room to make mistakes and not necessarily have your show be reviewed and looked at and picked apart the way, unfortunately, a lot of stuff gets picked apart in New York and can discourage people when they're trying to figure things out. Mm -hmm. This is like a big place to figure things out. Dixon Place is great about nurturing new artists and, and giving a space to fail. That's, I think, rare. Um, I think so many spaces, whether it be financial burden or, or subscription, the pressure to only present polished success is, is inherent in what is selected. And here, while, while of course there is excellence and there is nurturing and you want to, to grow into a wonderful part of the artistic community, you are encouraged to really risk. And, uh, and, and I think that's what I find so beautiful about this space. Dixon Place is definitely a place that values diversity, that makes it efforts, like conscious efforts, to support artists of color, queers of color, you know, like all the others. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I don't want to out some of our recipes for success. As a trans woman, um, queer person, there, even in New York City, the platforms are limited. I think many people from marginalized populations experience that, that our opportunities are smaller than others because so much of the pressure is or the, the norm is that the predominant audience is going to be from uh, hetero culture. And so a place where our voice is centered, or at least equal, you know, there are many beautiful um, cis and straight artists that perform here as well. But the fact we feel equal, I think, is paramount in, in just the freedom and the creative process. This is my first like ever attempt at really doing a one-man show. I feel like what Dixon Place really done for me was give me like the space and the allowance to do it because I felt my work um, becoming larger naturally. What I give to the choreographers, you know, give them a platform to grow, give them a space, um, it's pretty much the same what Dixon Place is giving to me, a place to grow, um, an opportunity for me to see where I can go from here. Sometimes you just don't know what your potentials are unless you are there, you're given the chance to explore. And that's, that's what Dixon Place is giving me right now, to explore my potentials. Um, so I'm really grateful for that. Hmm. Dixon Place has helped to catapult me into a different level of artistry, definitely. Opportunities started to come from everywhere, so I'm grateful for that. I have done all that I could to see the evil from the good without hiding. You must help me if you can. For me, it's been a place where I've been able to just find, really find my voice, figure out, take some notions that I thought were funny or that I thought for a long time meant something. And through working with Ellie and through 
working on these pieces at Dixon Place, I've had a chance to sort of string them together and find that there's like a lot of meaning in a lot of the stuff that uh, I've thought in the past just made me insane, kind of. I suppose a lot of that comes from Ellie because she's the artistic director, but I feel like the whole organization, everybody is kind of unified around making this not only a safe haven for artists, but also inviting their individual process, their individual viewpoint and experience, and, and valuing that. It's easy here. This is a very easy, non-pretentious, you know, place. And I think people are struck by this. You feel you can do it. There's that thing, and Bex and Place is all about that. If you have an idea, and you think you can do it, come and do it here. And when I decided to build this theater and to have a really professional space, state-of-the-art theater, a lot of people discouraged me from, from moving forward with it. All kinds of people, all kinds of funders, government agencies, foundations, and individuals as well. Just like, oh, you'll never be able to raise the dollars that you need, and your funding base is too small not advisable. So of course I went for it. That's what people do. That's all human nature, I guess. Just like anything, you just do it.